All right, so this is the last video that I'm going to make about this uh, situation with Adam22 interviewing Pop Smoke's killer. I saw the comments. Y'all were like, oh, well, if you didn't really want to uh, promote the video, you shouldn't have made the video on the... Shut the fuck up. This is this is the reason why y'all dad went to a grocery store, got the milk, and never came back home. Because y'all just be saying some stupid ass shit. Y'all getting mad at me. All I do is just talk about things that are going on in the culture. And I give my opinion about it. If Adam does an interview, Pop Smoke's killer, I got nothing to talk about. I got nothing to say. So y'all niggas is getting mad at the wrong nigga. But I wanted to hear how Sans Campbell about the situation because he comes from a street background. So I want to hear his pers perspective. Shall we begin? Cleveland Cavaliers fitted is crazy. Shall we begin? Now, a lot of people done sent me, so many people done sent me this video with this young boy that came home after doing four years for killing Pop Smoke. Adam 22, no jumper. First one to do the interview as far as what I see. Let me hear y'all. Let me let y'all hear what he had to say before I go in. About nothing. You know, that shit never happened, but I ain't sorry. That nigga said he wasn't sorry. Somebody did. I had to check myself too, because part of me, like, I don't claim to think that I know everything. I make mistakes, I fuck up. But somebody did put me on, or somebody did. I did see something on, like, Twitter. When I was having a conversation about this shit. And it was like. Yeah what Adam 22 did was like tasteless and shit like that. I mean at least I think what Adam did was tasteless. Because it's like how could you like invite the person that killed Pop Smoke onto your podcast. But at the same time look at who we idolize. As far as this hip hop shit. We idolize so many serial killers. So many people who talk crazy about women. People who pump poison into the black community we give them platforms we make movies we make documentaries about them the most fucked up people in the world we make a documentary off of it because they intrigue in, in some way or somehow so i had to check myself and i was like well look at all the documentaries that the most fucked up people that did fucked up shit they get you get what i'm trying to say so I had to dial it back. And I'm like, well, am I being a hypocrite for saying like, well, why is Adam interviewing this? Because if Adam didn't do it, somebody else was going to do it probably. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It was just a little, I, a self-reflection. A self-reflection. I still think like, yo, why are you still giving? This motherfucker don't rap. He don't act. He don't do anything. He's known for just breaking and entering Pop, Pop Smoke's crib. That's it. And if anything... I didn't even know this nigga was out until this interview came out. I didn't even know he was released from prison until he went on this platform. So now you're putting a target on his head. So if he was to pass away, which, you know, I mean, hey, you reap what you sow in this world. But now if something was to happen to this kid or something was to happen, the interview that he, the interview that Adam did is just going to get more views. It's just going to get more views. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I mean, like if I could go back, I'll go back. But I ain't sorry. Like, niggas die every day. I would have kept this one in the vault. I ain't gonna lie. I would have kept this one in the vault. But yeah, people gonna do what they gonna do. Every media company is different. People gonna do what they gonna do. Like he was rapping about it, all type of shit. So I ain't, I ain't sorry about it, but wait, let me dial it back. So I ain't, I ain't sorry about it, but like mm -hmm. niggas die every day. Like he was rapping about it. I thought he said he didn't know him. He said he was rapping about it. See, that's how I know that this motherfucker is stretching it. I mean, I granted, he can't say what, what he wants. I mean, if you can't really speak on what you want to speak on, why even come to the interview? But I thought he said that he thought Pop Smoke was a model. Now he's saying that he was rapping about it. So you knew who he was. You knew who he was. 
Hey, man. All type of shit. So, I ain't, I ain't sorry about it, but you know, I'll send my condolences to the family, and I wish it never happened. This is why when we was growing up, they had the commercial. Talk to him, Unc. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? We had the saying, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. I can remember watching an interview with Daylight from California, the battle rapper Daylight. Shout out to him. And he was saying that if California niggas could actually comprehend and understand what each other is saying, it'll be less violence. And I understand what he's saying because this young boy, his brain is fried, first and foremost, in this interview. You see Shorty sitting up there and he's toasted. I don't know what he's on, but his brain it's all the way fried. He said, I'm not sorry. But I'll take it back if I could take it back. If I can go back, I'll go back. That means you are sorry. But you trying to be so tough, you don't know how to say I did wrong. I wish I could take it back. So he got to be ignorant and stand his ground, but at the same time, say if I could go back, I could go back. Listen to him. Listen to him. And the sad part about it... Didn't he say he was fried that night when the situation happened too? He said he was off a perk or some shit like that? Listen, I smoke weed and sip wine. I don't know about fentanyl. I don't know about perks. I don't know what y'all niggas... I don't know about lean. I don't know what y'all new niggas is doing. But I'm cool, bro. I'm cool. I'm cool. Now, mind you, he 21. I'm 23. So I'm only like... You know what I'm saying? We in the same age bracket. Perks... Lean, fit and all. Nigga, I don't even buy weed off of niggas off the street. Because they'll put the fit and all in the weed. You take a hit of that shit. Next thing you know, you around the corner butt ass naked. No diddy. I go to the smoke shop. I get or I, I go to the smoke shop. Or 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 I go to the go to the dispensary. I get my real shit, the real official shit, and I roll my shit up and I smoke it. And I sip me a little bit of wine with a little bit of water and I'm taking my supplements. You feel me? These new niggas, these niggas is on coke. These niggas is on molly. These niggas is on ecstasy. These niggas is on perks. These niggas is on pills, lean, fit and all. These niggas be doing drugs and they be hunched over. These niggas are like a walking dead zombie half the time. And then they take these drugs and they start doing some, some shit that they probably don't even remember. It's crazy, shit crazy. Dumb dare program, yo. If y'all if y'all in middle school or if y'all if y'all uh, uh, in early high school, listen to them dare programs. Don't don't be like these motherfuckers, man. Dumb drugs will fry your fucking brain. Is, is that nobody has to do anything to him? If you leave this boy to deal with his demons, he's gonna self destruct. Y'all can't see it. Look at him. Should have never happened. Like if I could go back, I'll go back. But I'm sorry. Like he tries so hard to be tough. If I could go back, I'll go back. You know it happened. It happened. His brain is fried and it's eating him alive. He's one of those dudes that you ain't gotta run down on him and turn his TV off. You. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Leave him to himself because every day that he lives, he's living in misery. I, I, I feel sorry for him because he's too young to mentally have to deal with that. And our generation of rap coming from NWA, coming from one of my favorite groups in the world, MOP, and he up. Yap that fool. You want big money? Kidnap that fool. Get up off the mother in diamonds, huh? That's where we come from.
Yeah, pretty much. That, that's why I had to check myself. That's why I had to, as mad as I was when Adam interviewed that nigga. This is, you know what I'm saying? I had to check myself. Like, we've been glorifying violence, drugs, sex, fucking, uh, 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 degrading women, uh, calling bitches, bitches, calling, we even talking, man, bro, bro, it's been going on for hip hop for the last decade, my nigga. 50 Cent even said it. America got a thing for this gangster shit. It's been documentaries made on motherfuckers who push dope in the community. It's been documentaries. With my, like, bro, it's been... Niggas make a dollar off of our suffering and pain. And this is just another kid who just... I guess he was high out of his mind. And he... Kicked, he, he just... He's known for killing Pop Smoke. It's not the right nor right... It's not the right thing to be known for. But this ain't new. This ain't new. This ain't new. I'm getting mad at Adam 22, but I'm pretty sure there's bigger, bigger companies that's probably going to get this nigga a documentary. All because his killing was connected to a superstar in Pop Smoke. So I had to look inward and I was like, well, look at look before you get mad at this kid or before you get mad at Adam, look at your playlist and look at what you listen to. Whether it be King Von, Young Boy, and I and I could separate the difference. Like I could listen to King Von and know that I'm not about that life. But look at all of this shit that we bro, it's all bro, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. It's still distasteful that Adam brought this motherfucker on the platform. Granted, but I had to look inward and I had to be like, yo, look at all the music that I'll be listening to to my phone from old gangster rap all the way to the current rappers that I listen to now. All right, I'm done yapping. I'm done yapping. I'm done. That was my little yap session. And then when he do exactly what he was taught to do, he was trying to go and he did exactly what our generation pushed on him. Now we mad at him. Yeah, yeah. That's why I had to check myself. I had to check my. I, I, I'm being honest. I had to check myself. I had to check myself. Maybe because I'm from the East Coast, and I knew how much Pop Smoke meant to the East Coast. Considering that I bumped this nigga music every single fucking day religiously when he blew up, that's the reason why. You know what I'm saying? Cause Pop Smoke, Pop Smoke was that nigga. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Pop Smoke. Had he still be here today, Pop Smoke would have had the game on fucking... Matter of fact, not had the game on lock. With the small time that he was in the industry, he already had the fucking game on lock. So maybe that's why I'm a little, I'm a little bit more sensitive to the fact. Considering that I'm from the East Coast, he from the East Coast. And he died so young. Like he died at like 20. Whole fucking hip-hop industry on his fucking back. Own sound unique was different was a brush of fresh air he had the, he, the, 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 the i'm telling you he was one of them ones he was one of them ones so the fact that the east coast lost that it was like fuck now we mad at him you can't have it both ways you can't glorify the streets then get mad when your favorite rapper get his tv turned off Cause your favorite rapper is a rapper, but shorty right there, they was about that life. You can't have it both ways. Niggas mm, die every day. Like he was rapping about it, all type of shit. That was cold. So I ain't, I ain't sorry about it, but not some condolences. I mean, who knows if he's sorry? We gotta live with it though. He got to live with it. He, he could try to play it off as him being cold, but it's a reason why. And I didn't even notice if he was on drugs or not. But it's a reason why he numbered himself. He don't want to relive that shit every single day. Who knows? Who knows? Pray for peace. So the family, and I wish it never happened. Shorty, the family don't want your condolences. Not that, not, not. Yeah, they sure the fuck don't. I'm in the way that you just gave it. But at the same time, just know that Shorty's living in misery. Yeah, he do. Yeah, he, he yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And at the end of the day, if he keep going on the path that he's going on, it's like people don't believe in hell, heaven and hell. But if you look at him, he's in a mental state of hell. That's my take on the situation. Hit that like button. Oh, damn. Unc was spitting. Okay, Unc. He got a long fucking battle with himself. Okay. I ain't mad at that. Let me see what Chick Smooth had to say about this shit. YouTube. Chicks. Oh. All the coverage that you've been doing. I've been watching your shit for a while. I just subscribed to your shit too, bro. Adam22 might have just gotten himself blackballed. Now these days to get on the I doubt it. These artists they they still going they still going to go up there. I've been said I've been saying plenty of times why do y'all motherfuckers why do y'all street niggas go up there to this to his platform knowing that he just wants to exploit y'all. And they don't realize they're being exploited until they're not either getting paid anymore or Adam just cut ties with them and then when they got to do their own thing now Oh, Adam used us. Adam was da 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 But, bro, we've been telling y'all that this motherfucker don't care about y'all niggas. Y'all niggas is going with y'all niggas is going to war with y'all ops every single day, and he wants y'all to come on his platform to to talk about y'all street business so he can get paid. He don't even break y'all off. You got you you got ops, you got ops, you got ops, you got ops, oh you got ops? Come on my podcast, fuck it. Do he even be breaking y'all off? Pause. That sound crazy. That sound crazy. This nigga got blue eyes and he let his wife get fucked, but y'all letting this nigga like ugh, I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me no jumper all you gotta do is be a gang member or be a killer if you're a talented up-and-coming artist don't even dare ask to get on no jumper you will be denied it doesn't matter how much talent you have if you do not have at least two bodies and six attempts no jumper does not care to interview you now yesterday adam did a very tasteless interview where he interviewed one of the guys that were involved in the death of pop smoke in case anybody is wondering no the guy was not a rapper he's not involved in music he was just a gang member that was involved in a very unfortunate situation these days adam 22 is the true definition of all press is good Good press he knows exactly what he's doing with this interview he knows this interview will piss off a lot of people he knows exactly how bad this looks but yet adam 22 does not care after seeing this interview and i want to say why but at the same time once i realized that he let a black man like you're so infatuated with black culture that you let a six eight black man fuck your wife and you kissed her in the mouth two seconds later. That's when I realized this nigga has no morals. Yeah, no morals. No morals. You, one of Pop Smoke's friends, Ross Swish, he had some choice words for Adam 22. Him and Pop Smoke actually have one of my favorite songs that I listen to in the gym. It's called Brush Him. Ross Swish took the Instagram to violate Adam 22. He told Adam 22, suck my dick, you weird ass, lame ass bitch, at Adam 22, at No Jumper. Now, I'm sure you guys can all imagine the pain and also disrespect that Ross Swish was feeling watching this interview if he actually did watch it. Even academic Academics warned Adam 22 do not take this interview do not do an interview with this guy it's also rumored that Adam 22 paid the guy 7500 for this interview he's that's it that's it yo yeah this nigga is a slave yo let me chill let me chill let me chill let me chill 7500 god Godly, that godly, godly, seventy five hundred. Wow. So 
hoping he can make that money back with the full interview and also chopping it up into clips. Now tweeting at him and being disrespectful to him is cool and all but there's gotta be some action behind that. If all New York artists come together and say yo this was really fucked up from Adam22 and No Jumper, we are no longer going there. It might not have a strong enough impact but at least it's going to send a message to Adam. Typically when someone does an interview you're supposed to come out of that interview with new information. There was no new information from that interview that was revealed that we already did not know about. The guy he was interviewing refused to answer half of the questions that Adam asked him. You can tell he just came up there to collect his bag and dip. Listen man you guys get in the comments below what do you guys think about this Adam 22 interview and what do you guys think about Pop Smoke's friends response to Adam 22. Post comments below, scratch my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. Alright, that was a good video. Like I said, that shit was tasteless, but what do I know? Y'all niggas gonna y'all niggas still gonna come up there and go to Y'all niggas is still gonna go up there to Adam when y'all already know what the fuck he be doing. Y'all see the weird shit. You know what I'm saying? But y'all still go up there, but eh. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.